Hello. In this tutorial, I will show you how to align objects. Before we start, you should have a previous knowledge about the generalities of 3D, rendering methods, how to navigate the scene, and how to move, rotate, and scale the objects. For this, you can check my other tutorials in the webpage www.macrotutorials.com. There are three boxes, suppose you want to stack them one over the other in an orderly manner. So, you can do it manually, but the results are not very accurate. Another way, is to determine the measures of each box and its position and thus calculate the exact spot to place a box over another, but this does not sound very good, no. Then, there is a very simple solution, use the Align tool. Before proceeding, let me explain an important thing. Note, that the pivot point is assigned by the program to identify the position of an object. This is. In this case, is at the center of the underside of the box, this is the default position, when you create a box. Now, to see everything clearly. I go to transparent the green box, just select the box and. Press Alt and X on the keyboard. Now, the box is transparent. Well, to align the objects, first select the box you want to move above the other. Then left click, here. The button aligned, on the main toolbar. Note that the mouse pointer changed to a drawing of the button, or like two inclined boxes. Now, click the other box, so. Appears this window, the window with aligned selection is divided into the groups. Position, Rotation and Scale. Now, to match the center of the green big box, enable the X and Y. And make sure that are selected the fields of pivot in the current object the red box, and the target object the green box, that now is transparent. And now, the red box is on the exact center of the other box, but still not over this. Click the OK button to preserve this position. To move it above the other box, select the red box. Click the Align button. And, click the large box. Here is the Align section window, this time. Disable the X and Y position, and enable the Z position, that is the vertical position. And select in the target object maximum. As you can see, immediately the red box moves to the top of the other box. Before I accept this changes. See this. If you select center, in the current object, this align the center of tight of the red box to the top of the large box. And if you click minimum, align a lower point in the Z axis of the red box to the highest point in Z of the large box, C. And if you click maximum, aligns the maximum point in Z of the red box to the maximum point in Z of the large box. Also, you can change the position in the target object. Like this. To the center. To the minimum. To the pivot point, that in this case is in the minimum, that's why it remains this way. And so on. You can combine these options until you get the results you want. But for now, we want the red boxes over the other. So, in the current object select minimum and in the target object select maximum. Click OK. And it's done. Now, we have perfectly aligned these boxes, stacked one over the other. And in the same way, you can stack the orange box over the red box. To make transparent the red box, just select the box. And press Alt and X in the keyboard. To restore the color of the green box, the larger one. Select the large box, and press Alt and X in the keyboard, and now a screen, again. And, select the orange box, click at the Align button, and click over the red box, now transparent. And here is the Align selection window. Disable the Z option, and enable the X and Y options. And select center in the current object, and center in the target object. This way. But, let's do it different this time. We will align the orange box to a corner of another box. Say, this corner. So, we enables the X position, and select the maximum X in the current to the minimum X in the target. And, not. But we are close. So now we try, the minimum X in the current object to the minimum X in the target object. And, yes. The the tenth is now aligned. Click OK, to preserve this position. And, left click again, at the Align button. And in the transparent box and disable the X option, and enable the Y option. As the minimums are already selected, the box position changes. But this is not the combination that we want, so, let's try another. Maximum in the target. No. But close. So, maximum in the current. And is ready. And click OK. To preserve the position. For the vertical position, like the orange box is already selected, press the Align button. And click on the other box. Disable the Y position, and enable the Z position. Select the minimums E in the current object. 
and the maximum Z in the target object. And there's this. In the position that we want. Click OK, and it's ready. Also, you can align objects in the same rotation angles. Let us rotate freely this teapot. And to match the rotation angles of the purple teapot with the brown teapot, you should select the purple teapot, and click the Align button. And click the other teapot. Here is the Align selection window. For the moment, disable the position options X, Y and Z, and concentrate on the rotation. Click X on the orientation. Note that the object changes the orientation. C. And enable the Y option. And the Z option. And click the OK button. Now, the two T-pokes are perfectly oriented in the same direction. You can even match the size of other objects. First check that the reference coordinate system is on local, if don't, change it. Left click in the arrow and select local. Select the object that you want to resize, and click in the align button. And, click the other box. You can match the position and orientation of the other object at the same time, but for now, we will only match the size. At the bottom, click in the X, Y, and Z, to match the size in all the axes. And click the OK button. Now, the two boxes are the same size. Well, now with other object. To match the size of the box, select the teapot. Check if the coordinate system is on local. Click the Align button, and... Then, click the box. And match the size in X, Y, and Z. Click OK. And the teapot did change to size, but not the same size of the box. In the next tutorial I'll show you some tricks for match the size of an object accurately. If you click and hold it down, over the button of a line, appears this options. This is to quickly apply the last configuration used in the align button, without show at the align selection window. To use it, just select an object, click quick align, and click at the other object. And it's ready. In the same way, you can use other options. This is the button of normal align, let's see how it works. We will align the teapot with this tilted plane. Well, select the teapot, and rotate until you see the surface you want to have contact with the plane. And click in the button of normal align. Now click and hold it, in the surface of the teapot you want this in contact with the plane. Then, this little blue arrow appears, indicating the direction it will align the teapot. And, left click in the plane at the point where you want locate the teapot. This way and appears this window, that help us to refine the position in the align angle. We can increase or decrease the angle. Like this. And adjust the X, Y, and Z position. If you have an object that don't have a flat base, like a car, just select it. And rotate until you see the surface you want to have align with the plane. Click on normal align. And click and hold it down on the base of the car, to adjust the normal arrow. Click the plane. In this window, adjust the angle like this. And increase the Z position, to fit in the plane. Increase or decrease it. Until it's ready. And, click OK. The next option, is place a highlight. To include a light in the scene. Click lights in the command panel. Select standard. And free spot. And click in some place in the scene. Well, the light is ready. To direct the light to some object, click place highlight, and Left click and hold it down, on the light. And moves over the object you want illuminate. Like this. And release the mouse. Another option is, align camera. To include the camera on the scene, click cameras on the command panel. Click on free. And click and hold it down on the viewport, and move the mouse until you find a good point to your camera. Like this. This is the camera, and is looking down. To see what is watching the camera, right click in the name viewport. Move the mouse over views. And select, camera 1. To easily point the camera, in this other viewport. Select the camera. Click the button of align camera. And left click on the object that you want the camera pointing. And it is ready. The last option is align to the view. You can select an object. Click on Align to View, and appears this window. Here, you can choose the axis to align the object, and also, you can flip the object. Click OK, and the object is aligned with the view. If you rotate around the scene, it's more easy to see, 